Hi everyone. Can you, you can hear me. So um, thank you everyone, Margaret, Robin, and everyone who has given me this opportunity to speak about such an important topic. So I'm working in London, but right now I'm in India, uh, middle of night. I think it's almost going to be 1 a.m. Talking about such an important topic is women's empowerment in digital world. So actually, just to give you my very quick background, I have a 14 years of experience with the IT world, working with uh, many different clients. Uh, so we provide service. So we are, our life is all about digital world. So as I sit here speaking about the importance of women empowerment in digital world, it occurs to me that I'm largely a product of digitization. So my career and identity have been shaped by working digital world for which I'm extremely grateful. Because together with the affordability of the technology and lack of relevant information and skills in using digital tools are among the main reason for digital gender divide worldwide. And in addition, there's a social culture perception often reported among the top barriers for women in owning and using a mobile phone and any digital world. But we have seen the increasing trend of using this digital world, particularly for women. So it is ab abundantly clear that women's empowerment is critical to the overall development of any society and economic growth. The good news is that information technology has exponentially expanded opportunities for women across the globe. But you know, it was not always the same as the leading feminist Vanna Joshi rightly points out in her essay, from bonsai to banyan tree, I really want to quote that, that the history of feminism is a history of fighting male bias instrumentalized to keep a woman in a subordinate position to a man. It is a fight for women's equality of opportunity in public arena, for their dignity as individuals in their own right and for recognition of their biological differences. Be it law, religion, morality, education, physical, and social science, where even today women academics are struggling to introduce feminist and sexuality studies in university salami. The list of these prejudices should be endless, could be endless. But thanks to the age of information technology, which has been a great equalizer and a radical emancipator, digital media has encouraged women to speak up and discuss issues that are crucial to their very survival. This has brought topics such as sexual harassment, domestic violence, female sexuality, and the gender divide to the front and the center. Instead of hidden away behind the closed doors, so many campaigns have gathered steam thanks to digital amplification, with the Me Too movement being a prime example of this around the world. Like the whole Hollywood, Bollywood coming forward and talking about the things happen to them. So that was through digital world, the whole world was listening to their sexual harassment cases and the women got encouraged to come forward and discuss about their issues. So see how digital world has really empowered women in so many ways. So I was reading one uh, post where I saw a, a homemaker, a woman who is a homemaker, always had a low self-esteem, thinking that she might not be able to do much in life, created her own cooking show on YouTube and created her own makeup skills on YouTube. And that has become viral. You know how digital world is really influencing women in so many ways. And the age of the internet e-commerce has created numerous opportunities for women to come into their own and explore business opportunities, they, which they never had before. Like small business owners are flourishing online, including women with all kinds of unique business ideas they are executing to perfection from their own home. So more women than ever are breaking this glass ceiling and occupying important position. So studies show that companies that have more women employed have greater empathy towards customers. So they drive higher profitability and are more socially conscious. That's why in our IT companies, we see they have increased the hiring of women employees. So we have a special hiring for women employees. And also with digital becoming the primary mode of communication, including in the business world, Women can more readily balance the demands of motherhood 
and they'll job from they'll job from the privacy of their homes so you can imagine working from home and in just parallelly managing your motherhood so that has if you you know the digital world closely you have immense number of opportunity to balance this so the digital world enables women to communicate in a safe judgment free space where they can flourish using social media to empower and inspire each other so according to one essential report how digital is helping close gender gap tech work assess that if you are digitally fluent i want to repeat it if you are digitally fluent it it can provide a positive effect throughout your entire career life cycle and that effects benefit women so you can see the covid was the biggest example of how we were connected to the whole globe because of digitalization and students were able to continue study online and employees are able to work from home as we navigate a world beyond covid we have the unprecedented opportunity to accelerate the advancement of women in workspace it was exciting to hear that singapore and entrenching the flexible work arrangement as a workplace norm by 2024 by sustaining the hybrid approach to work that has become common place during the pandemic women have more choices to participate in economic activity if they choose so so in the same time a hybrid culture workspace also give men an opportunity to play a bigger role at home in their families leveling the playing field on both ends so digital technologies bring about unprecedented opportunities for female female empowerment and inclusion around the world net income and employment possibility as well as access to education and knowledge can turn into enormous opportunity that only not benefit women themselves but also enhance the lives of their families and well-being of their entire communities i don't want to take much time but i want to end this by encouraging women to come forward and use the digital world to empower themselves and trace their journey from being bonsai to banyan tree thank you so much